Hey y'all, it's J Night Jam Buff. Um, I've had a long, long day. I just got back from the Summit Powerful and it was an amazing experience. I think it's because it's my second time going that I can really appreciate it now. And I'm gonna get more in detail about where it, what it is. Um, I know you guys are like, you're making a video and it's nighttime. What? <laughs> but yeah, like, um, I wanted to talk about today, I wanted to talk about your path and like realizing that everything you do is going to influence where you're going to be in life and like it's going to just basically map out where you're going. Like I never used to understand, I don't know if I'm trying to say understood and understand at the same time, I never used to understood or understand understand you know like when people say I mean I used to get when people you say oh you got to get from A to B to get you know you got to get from A to get to B you know what I mean and you know you got to do all these baby steps before you can make big steps before you can start running you know what I mean and it's hard for people to really 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 understand because we're so focused on just rushing and just getting to the next level and everybody's constantly always thinking about the future and thinking about you know what they want to do in life and what they're going to do in life and all that good stuff and that's beautiful and that's awesome to have goals like that but you have to start understanding your present you know i think we forget that right now in this very moment like me right now making this video for you guys this is what i'm focused on i'm not thinking about anything else i'm just thinking about this video okay and i don't want to kind of get lost and off track because i'm thinking too hard about the video but i'm thinking about this video okay you have to understand that everything you do within this one moment the one moment that you're in your present is the only thing you can control so because of that and because of the fact that you know that you can only control your present you have to use all of your time because at the end of the day we all get 24 hours it's just about how you use those 24 hours that's why I talk about trying to get up early and you know and try to make sure that you're using your time wisely because you're not giving a lot of time like people like to say oh you're young you have plenty of time time is not on your side because I remember when I was just five years old I mean I might not have remembered it when I was five but you know what I'm trying to say like you remember when you was in middle school and everything was just like, oh my God, oh my God. But now you in high school and you're like, oh my God, I wish I was in middle school. Like this is everything that you do is going to affect where you're going. And I'm basically trying to say that we're like, you know, you have to start making good decisions or trying to do the right thing so wherever you want to go in life or whatever you want to do in life it's always going to just benefit you benefit you for the things that you want to do so i want to be in film and i want to do political advocacy and stuff like that and be an activist and everything right so i went to black girls rock i don't know if you guys know it's a uh, basically organization to uplift and empower young black women and um you know make us love ourselves and make us learn that we're important and make us learn how to dress right and how to you know be young women learn how to become young business women entrepreneurs and all that good stuff and it's a great it's a great program i'm telling you it definitely created a sisterhood between other young black women that i've never never ever thought that i would have and it opened up my eyes to a lot of different things oh my god just a fly in the room Y'all don't understand. I have a phobia against flies. Ah! No. Get out. Get out. Get out. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have a phobia against flies. <laughs> like, flies, they seriously, like, I guess you can see what they do to me. 
I think, okay, so I don't want to backtrack, but I'm going to just let you guys know why I have a phobia is because of the fact that one time when I was really young, I'm going really fast about this. One time when I was really young, I was in the backseat and I don't remember like who was there and what was going on, but I remember a bee got in the car and like somehow like I trapped it underneath the jacket and then I thought it was underneath the jacket and it ended up in my naps in the back of my hair and it was just buzzing and buzzing and buzzing and I didn't know where it was coming from so it was like a really dramatic moment for me and then I finally realized it was in the hair, it was in my hair so I had to take a bee out of my hair and it stung me in my hand. So... Oh my gosh, I just lost some breath, but that was a serious moment for me. <sighs> wow. But let me get back on track. I'm trying to say, you know, me going to Black Girls Rock, and now I'm going to the National Seminar where I'm going to learn how to get the right steps to protest and, you know, get out on the streets and fight for what I want to fight for and these social issues that have been going on in the world and I want to just learn how to go about it and how to get into Congress or how to go about pol politics and like how to get my voice heard and get a team and stuff like that so everything that I'm doing I'm doing it for a reason so that in the future the things that I do present at this present at this moment because this is the only thing I can control will benefit me later on in life. You feel me? You cannot just be sitting in the house, chilling in your bed on Netflix every single day and expect that in 10 years or five years, you'll be famous. That's not how it goes down. You know why Beyonce is famous? It's because she spent her whole childhood dancing and singing in the mirror, dancing and singing with her family, letting it be very known that this is what she wanted to do and this is the only thing she was going to do. She dedicated all her time and her energy and like I was just saying in my last video, she was so passionate about it and so wrapped up in about it. That's the only thing that she cared about. That's the only thing she put all her focus, all her energy into and that led her now becoming Beyonce. You know what I mean? Everything that you do, it's going to later on affect you in life. So you have to realize you can only control your present. So how are you going to go about controlling your present? What are you going to do right now to help you out in 10 years? I'm honestly trying to learn about stocks. I'm trying to learn about investing. To be honest, I'm trying to be an entrepreneur and I'm trying to be a billionaire. I tell myself almost every day I'm a billionaire. You go on my Instagram page, literally in my bio, it says... Every billionaire has seven sources of income, and I'm only four, four, four sources away. Like, I don't play. I don't play. Like, I'm serious, you guys. I feel like a lot of people, are, you're just sitting around, you're just not doing anything, and that's not going to get you anywhere. You need to make goals, whether they're short-term or whether they're long-term. It doesn't matter. You need to make goals and fulfill them. Control your present because this is the only thing you can control and you have to understand at the end of the day time is not on your side It is not on anyone's side Everyone is given 24 hours at the end of the day and it's about how you use them and what you do with them Well, I mean that was the same thing, but I felt really empowered when I said it like use them, use them. But I hope you guys like this video. Um, sorry about the fly Oh my god, that really killed me, but Love y'all. Peace. Check my, out my new next video whenever I post it. Yeah. Oh, and also, um, I was, gonna, I was gonna end it. I went to this summit called Power Herful today. I don't know if I said that in the beginning of the video. Uh, I can't speak, sorry. And, you know, it's just an organization. I mean, not an organization, but like a program that basically teaches young women minorities and you know even other types of women you can be white it doesn't really matter it's about powerful it's about bringing women together to learn how to be leaders and to learn how to this lady taught us um learn how to get your own chips basically making your own income becoming business women and they give you just all the right tools and steps and and connections and they help you how to they help you with a lot of different stuff you definitely have to look look into it to see if it's something you want to do and um, I'll leave the links and stuff below, Black Girls Rock, all that stuff, because it's really motivating. And I definitely feel like with this new, this new movement and now Hillary is like running for president, us women, we have to very, we have to, not very, we have to definitely hone in this year and get together and just bond. Okay, this video is getting really long, so I'm going to leave. <laughs>